As we all know, stretching is important. We've learned that stretching is important since we started in kindergarten and our teachers made us hold stretches before we went out for recess, right? The science behind stretching is think of your muscle kind of like a rubber band. And inside that rubber band is something called the Golgi tendon. That tendon regulates your stretch shortening cycle. Think of a stretch shortening cycle like when you pull that rubber band, you're stretching, and when you let it go, it comes back together. Your muscles normally want to follow a set stretch shortening cycle, and that's part of what regulates your ability to do, like for example, a bicep curl to the point of failure, and all of a sudden you're feeling really tired, you can't pull your arm all the way up, that's your Golgi tendon telling stop, you're gonna tear your muscles. Interestingly enough, if you've ever heard of like the moms that pull cars off their kids, that sort of thing, and they just do these crazy feats of strength, that's uh, the brain overriding that Golgi tendon uh, mechanism along with some other things and allowing you to go past what you could safely do. Unfortunately, it has long lasting damaging effects on your muscles, such, such as your muscles can't do the same things that they used to be able to do. A really good example is if you've heard about the story about the guy with his leg trapped under a huge boulder. He was trapped for, I don't know how long it was, weeks I believe, and eventually he pushed it off of himself, but as such, his arm is useless now. He can't use his arm ever again because it tore all the muscles. So, the reason we hold stretches and the reason we do mobile st uh, stretching is because we wanna follow the stretch shortening cycle. When you're exercising, you're doing moving uh, activities, such as a squat, a deadlift, that you wanna mimic with your stretches. If you do a stretch, hold it, and then let it go, your muscles have uh, been overridden and the stretch sorting cycle's out of whack and it actually decreases your power. Specifically, if you are not training to do heavy weights or if you're not you're trying to get a maximal lift or if you're not trying to figure out just how much weight you can push around, it's not that big of a deal. You can still do your static stretches and you will get benefits from them, but your strength will go down. However, if you do active stretches and allow your body to follow its stretch stretch shortening cycle adequately, you won't see any negative side effects. In fact, only positive side effects will be gained from doing these motions. However, you want to make sure that you're doing them safely and properly. It's a good technique.